Hi, I'm Christina Matisic and this is Project Allaire. We're in East Vancouver about to start on a major renovation of this Vancouver special. It's a housing style that became popular until about the mid 80s, but many of these homes, especially this one, are in need of a major makeover. This is project manager Mark Sikovich. He'll be overseeing the entire renovation. So are there any specific challenges associated with renovating a Vancouver Special? The first one would be the close proximity to the neighbours. We have a house right there. Yeah. yeah, we also have another house right just there. With a house like this and the year it was built, um, we have asbestos all throughout. Um, so we definitely want to make sure that everything is contained and removed um, professionally and properly. So what's going to be happening here? The biggest changes are those lights. Um, those are going. We're going to be removing the fireplace altogether. Um, our client didn't want a gas fireplace, electric fireplace, maybe possibly down the road we'll do something like that. What about that huge patio? Is that staying? We are removing that huge patio. Okay. What is going to be happening here? Obviously we're getting the entire house. We're going to be removing this wall, uh, bringing in plenty of light, throw it into the kitchen and we're going to be adding in a ton of cabinets. This entire back wall here um, is going to be floor to ceiling cabinetry. All right, the bedroom. Is this going to change much? We are getting rid of this closet uh, and we're going to be doing some custom closets. The biggest change is going to be with that tiny little bathroom. It uh, is really small. Yeah, no kidding. We're actually going to be utilizing the main middle bathroom uh, so we can enlarge the space there. Homeowners Tim and Allison are looking to make the home more suitable for them and their growing boys. Tell me some of the most important things about this renovation to you. What are you really looking for here? We wanted a home that's family friendly. Um, absolutely, like we we're gonna raise our, raise our boys here, right? Um, and so once we sort of got, uh, came around to the idea that we wanted to do a full renovation, there was sort of two guiding principles. And one of them was to have an extremely durable Ma low maintenance building and so on the exterior finishes that's what we're looking for hardy plank siding metal roof all that sort of thing um then on the other side of it was just we really wanted to have an energy efficient house and once we move in basically our carbon footprint will be almost zero and so that that's something that's really important to us it's about to start are you guys excited we're very excited can't wait to get going So give me an update, where are we at right now? So we start with remediation. We uh, remediated the whole interior, did a complete demo of the exterior. Upstairs we're framing. We're doing the layout for the kitchen, the ensuite bathroom, pantries, closets, bedrooms. Right here we have two walls. This wall right here is our structural wall. It's going to be holding insulation. Vancouver wants to see twice the amount of insulation. So we are reframing the inside of this house with another two by four wall. So we'll now have double the insulation. One of the pitfalls of having a frame on the inside is you do lose that square footage. Um, a huge positive though is this is obviously going to be the, the warmest house on the block here. So the new shower is actually going to be probably larger than the original bathroom itself. We're going to have a double sink vanity right here. So that is going to make them extremely happy.
five guys struggling with it, so it's gotta be at least four or 500 pounds. <laughs> So the house is done. The house is complete. So tell me about what you did on the exterior. So the siding material that we went with was a hardy cement board finish. And we went with completely new high energy efficient windows as well. There's a really awkward balcony, uh, not really usable. So we decided to replace it with a low slope roof here, um, as well as a window. I'm gonna go take a look. Here it is. Wow, what a transformation. It's so white and bright and spacious now. It's great, I love this space. It really makes a big difference getting rid of that wall. A big priority for you was to have one great living space where everybody could be together all the time. Having one big space where we can have someone in the kitchen getting dinner ready, someone at the table doing homework, and someone in the living room playing. Everyone is together, but with enough space that no one's on each other's toes. One thing that was really important to you was to make the house as eco-friendly as possible. So how did that work out? We're really happy with the results. It's uh, the, the building envelope is really tight, like you don't notice drafts or anything like that. Um, the heat pump's working out great. The heat pump water heater's working out great. We're loving the fact that we can plug the electric car in with the, cap, with the price of gas being what it is. So no, we're really happy with how that's turned out. Is that a new addition, that bathroom? There was a bathroom here before, but we kind of picked it up and moved it over. Uh, and that allowed us to have a, a much more generously sized uh, ensuite. Now this is such a nice, big kitchen. Do you cook a lot? We do, and it's so nice to have the double wall ovens, induction cooktop, everything you could need in a nice, clean, big space. We've always liked the, the darker gray floor. That was one of the things we knew ahead of time. And then just going with the luxury vinyl plank seemed like the, a very, durable option. So how much bigger is this than your old kitchen? Oh, twice the size at least with so much more cabinet space is the big thing. Our old kitchen actually had two drawers. And here's the primary bedroom. A lot brighter. We have a nice big closet with a built-in which is great. Big change is the ensuite. It was just a little tiny guy before, and now it's bright and beautiful. We're really, really happy with the bathroom. Oh, it's gotta be like three or four times bigger for sure. We have a nice, spacious shower. We also added two sinks, which is something we've never had before. So now we can each brush our teeth and uh, not bump elbows. There's medicine cabinets that are built in because again, lots of storage. I love it because you can really tuck things away in this home. That's right, we have lots of built-ins in the mudroom, a cubby for everyone and a giant cupboard that has three shelves of shoes for everyone's shoes, boots and hats. So the rec room is the boys' space. Right now it's got all their Lego and their toys and they can go down there and watch a movie. We love it. We put a lot of thought into how we would live in this space and how it could grow with us. And we think that we got something that we're gonna be happy with for a long time. <laughs>